Hi there, it's Tom Meeks again. Uh, I'm with the Cubify Fans blog and also with the Moment of Inspiration Users blog. And that is, is at moiusers.blogspot.com. Now, as I'm making this, uh, we're waiting for the hurricane to come in uh, called Frankenstorm. And I thought it fitting that we might look at Revolve, since a Hurricane is all about revolving around uh, the eye of the storm. We're going to make our own little uh, tornado or hurricane here using Revolve and circles. So let's go to a front view. There we go. Let me slide this down. So from here, I'm going to create some circles that we're going to make our tornado effect. Now, normally when I create circles in all the previous tutorials, I've used this center and diameter or center and radius. So we would take a center point and we would come out here and make a radius and that would create our first circle. But that's not the only kind of circle we can make in Moment of Inspiration. Here's a second kind of circle. In this case, we have a diameter and we select one point and move to the other point, which will be the diameter of the circle. So I'm going to select a point right here in the center of this circle, and I'm going to move outward. Now, no matter where I move, the circle follows, and it creates a circle as big as the distance between my first point and my second point. That is the diameter. So there's good. That's a good, that's a good circle. A third way to make a circle is three points, any three points. So again, I'm going to take the center of this second circle, and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, okay, I, I want a circle that's right here. That's the second point. Now, from there, I can go anywhere, and the circumference of that circle is always going to go through those first two points. So now I've got this other circle. We can make it as big as we want. All right, I'm going to move this up just a hair. And then finally, we have another type of circle, which is my favorite type of circle. If we're trying to get sizes that incrementally go up and they'll always be even, I would use this. Now, we won't use that this time for all of these circles, but I'm going to show you how we would make circles that are always going upward. Let's take a line, any line. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll make a circle, we'll make a line there and we'll go through that circle. Okay. Yeah. Now, see, we're, we're going right through the edge of that other circle. Now, come over here and we'll start here and we'll come out there. There we go. Now we're going to go back to our circle command and we're going to select tangent points and a circle will be derived from those tangent points. These tangent points are always on another curve. In this case, two line curves. So I'm going to select one point and I'm going to select the second point. Now watch as I move away. Notice that now whenever I move around that circle, Two points are always going to be on, or tangent to, those lines that I selected. So now we'll bring this out here, and we have our four circles that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to get rid of these. There we go. Now, to make our tornado, I'm going to first go ahead and union the, this shape. Now I don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to go to Boolean Union, and now we have the shape we're going to use uh, because the reason I union this is I want to be able to move this later and show you an interesting artifact in Moment of Inspiration or an interesting behavior in Moment of Inspiration. Let's uh, go to Revolve. I told you we're going to go into Revolve. Now, I'm at the front view, so this, this axis right here is my Z axis. It says select the curve to revolve. I've done that. Then it says pick an axis. All right, well, I want to revolve around my Z axis. So I'm going to stay on my Z, and I have it snap here so it'll stay on there. And I just click there. And now I've got this revolved form. I've made a little mini tornado. But I'm going to show you something really cool. As I move this profile 
that I am revolving around that axis. Let's go to look from the top. There we go. See that from the top. Let's go back to the front. As I move this back and forth, I actually can change the results. And look how fast it happened. I mean, it really does happen quite fast. So now I've got this uh, nice uh, revolve shape here. And we're going to click out here. And you'll see that I've revolved out the shape of a um, you know, little mini tornado. That's not the only shape I can do with Revolve, however. Not all packages have this next type of Revolve. So I'm going to uh, get rid of my little tornado. I'm going to keep my mini shape. We'll move it over a little bit. And I'm going to move it out here. Now, one of the things that we can do is do a rail Revolve. But before we do that, we have to create a rail. So I'm going to go to the top view and create a rail around which we're going to revolve. And that rail could be just about anything. Um, I'm going to pick a, uh, a polygon, and I'm going to pick the star, and I'm going to pick custom. Now, the reason I pick custom is so that I'm not locked into the shape of the star. I can select the shape of the star. I'm going to pick the origin, move it out, and come out here right on the shape that I had. I don't have to, but it's convenient. And now it, you see, as I move my mouse back and forth, I can change the shape of that. And I'm going to take this down to about right there. All right, that's my rail. So let's go back to my front. And we'll go, I, I could leave, if I left this selected and hit revolve, it would be automatically selected. But I want to go through the process of making the selection. Let's go to Revolve, Rail Revolve. First, it says select the profile curve. Got it. Then it says select the rail curve. Well, that was this. That was the star shape that we had. Then it says pick the Revolve Axis Start. And we're going to go to the same axis we did before with a very different result. Now, from the top, you'll now see that I have revolved around that axis, but the way it was revolved was changed by the rail that I selected. And I can go back here and change that rail. Let's delete that rail. And we're going to go to uh, this freeform um, through points here. I'll tell you what, we'll do this. We'll do a polyline through points. And I'm going to select any shape that I want to shape here. There we go. And I'm going to now go to my front view. All right. And I'm going to say, OK, select that, revolve, rail revolve, select the rail, select the axis. And now if we look from the top, we'll notice that it has followed along that rail. So the rail can be anything. We can have a smooth shape. We can have a not-so-smooth shape. Uh, I have one more minute, so let's try a, a, a more smooth shape. So we're going to get rid of this, undo. We're going to go here to our free form through points. And we're going to nice smooth, nice smooth rail. There we go. And now I'm going to go to my front view. I've selected that, revolve, rail revolve, select the rail, select the axis. And now, if I look from the top, you'll see that we have a very free-flowing flow or revolve around that axis. It's very cool. Well, I hope this shows you you can do some very interesting things, very organic kinds of shapes with a simple revolve. And a uh, moment of inspiration is very powerful. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I don't get blown away by Frankenstorm. Talk to you later. Uh, we'll try to create some more before we lose our electricity, which is inevitable. Bye.